Hey everyone, Dr. Crayhay here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to run a multiple regression in uh, R using R Commander. So remember to fire up R and you'll get the GUI page, type library R Commander and hit enter. And that will open up R Commander for you. From here, you need to load the data set. So again, data, import data uh, from SPSS. You can change these if you want. I'm just going to leave it alone there. I'm going to open case 3. This is just a sample data set that I have. Click on view data set and you can see here some information about the data set. So here up top you can see I've got variable 1, a dependent variable, independent variable 1, independent variable 2. Each row is a case just like it has been all semester. So if you scroll down you can see there are 100 people in my data set. So 100 people and we have four variables. Now the first thing you'll want to do is look at uh, your normality for all of these. Well you want to look for outliers first, right? So make sure you look at your box and whisker plots. Make sure you look at your normality. So take a look at that skew kurtosis for all of your independent variables and your dependent variables. Now if everything's okay with, with those statistics, uh, you really should check a couple of additional assumptions uh, in multiple regression. For this semester, I'm not going to make you do that. Um, I think that we've been a little bit my stat lab heavy and a little bit light on the analysis side, so I'll let you skip that. But please do uh, note there are additional assumptions for multiple regression that should be tested um, that we're just going to skip for this iteration of the course. All right, getting down to business. So you've got your data set loaded and uh, you've carefully read your instructions. So uh, depending on your last name, you're gonna have different sets of independent variables. So make sure that you pay attention to that. Once you know all of that, you can go to statistics, fit models, linear regression. So linear regression is a specific type of regression. It just means that uh, the variables are gonna basically fall into a line. There are other kinds of regression, uh, but in this course we focus on linear. So click on that. And here you've got some options. You can name your model if you want. Uh, you don't have to, you know, it gives you a default, but you know, if you want to make it final exam model, you can do that. That's perfectly okay. Over here you have to pick your response variable. This is uh, your dependent variable, your response variable. So just click on that. Over here on the right hand side you've got your explanatory variables. Pick one or more. These are your independent variables, your predictive uh, variables. So to select more than one, click one of them, hold down control, and then you can click on that second one. From there just hit OK and it will spit out a bunch of output for you down here at the bottom. So what we've got first uh, is of course this is just the code. You've got some residuals that you can ignore. Going all the way down you've got coefficients. So this is where you really start to get your uh, important output here. So it gives you, first it gives you uh, your coefficients, uh, these are where you'll, you'll find your beta weights. Uh, so these are your beta weights right here where it says estimate. So you've got a beta for uh, intercept, uh, which you'll just ignore. You'll have your first predictor, you'll have your second predictor, so on and so forth. Uh, you'll have your standard error, you'll have a T value and then an associated P value. So again, it's reporting these in scientific notation. So make sure that you change those and that if they're really, really teeny tiny, report it as less than 0 0.001. So what it's doing here, it's performing a T test uh, for each of these uh, beta weights. And it's saying, is this beta weight statistically significantly different than zero? Is this number uh, right here, this beta weight, different than zero? So uh, if your results are statistically significant, less than 0 0.05, yes, the beta weight is different than zero. If not, then no, it is not different than zero. Uh, so some people put a lot of emphasis on these uh, statistical values, statistical significance values. Personally, I don't think they're very important. What's going to be most important is which of these two numbers uh, is bigger. 
right? So uh, if you've got a bunch of predictors and uh, you know three of them are statistically significant, those are the three you're going to pay attention to. But where you should put your emphasis in interpretation is the size of these beta weights, because whichever is bigger, that's what's getting the most credit in that regression equation. And of course, here uh, it gives you significance codes as well. Um, so it's saying that zero is represented with three stars. And so you can already tell that my two uh, predictors, the beta weights, the p-values are less than 0 0.001. They're statistically significantly different than zero. Okay, so going down, we have the more important stuff. Uh, so at that very bottom line, you've got your F statistic, you've got your degrees of freedom, and you've got your p-value. Again, this is in scientific notation, but I can tell you this p-value is less than 0 0.001 yet again. Once you establish, so the first thing you should look at in a multiple regression is, of course, is this model statistically significant? Do I have anything? That's what this p-value right here is telling you. From there, you want to say, what do I have? How large is this effect? And it gives you two effect sizes here. So it gives you multiple R squared and also gives you an adjusted R squared. So what this is telling you is that 48% of the variance in the dependent variable is explained by your independent variables. 48% of the variance in the dependent variable is explained by the independent variables. This is a very good multiple R squared. Usually you're going to see uh, in psychological research 5%, 10% uh, in that range. So very, very good number. What's the difference between multiple R squared and adjusted R squared? So we know that all statistical values, uh, statistical numbers are estimated. Um, sometimes they can be overestimated and that is the case with adjusted R squared. Because of the way it's calculated, R squared is going to tend to be a little bit, multiple R squared is going to be a little bit on the high side. It's going to be uh, an overestimation of the effect. It's going to be higher than the actual effect uh, in reality. So adjusted R squared uh, it just, you know, applies a little bit of math to bring that number down, tamp it down a little bit, make it more accurate. And so what I'd like for you to do, of course, report your p-value and then report both of these uh, R values. I think that's the best way to move forward. So once you establish, yes, I've got something, uh, it's a pretty big effect according to these two numbers. You should take a look at which variable is really uh, kind of driving the bus here. Which variable is getting the most credit in that regression equation? And of course, you'll, you'll use your beta weights for that. So it could be that, uh, you know, um, and he here I just have IV1 is an 8 to the negative 1 and then negative 4 to the negative 1. So this number is bigger. So we're going to say IV1 is really uh, driving the results here, uh, followed by IV2. You might have one beta weight that is very, very high, and then the next beta weight is close to zero. In that case, you might say, you know, uh, the first predictor is doing a very, very good job. The next predictor is contributing very little to the model. So depending on the strength of those uh, numbers, you can interpret those in different ways. Now, we've got some resources linked for you to help you uh, understand these results a little bit more if you need it. Please take a look at those. Uh, and of course, I'm available via email. We can set up a meeting if you'd like to chat a little bit more. All right, hope this helps. Good luck on your final.